Hello, Home Slices. It's Kira with Home Slice Adult and coming to you with my review for Iyanla Fix My Life, Season 6, Episode 611, which is also like Episode 16 or something. I'll have it correctly down in the title. But the title of this episode is Mother Doesn't Know Best. And before we get into the meat and potatoes of this particular episode, I want to say thank you for clicking on this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Now let's dive in. So we have um, three people who are living together. We have Grace, Kenyatta, and then Grace's mother, um, whose name, oh, Eve, Miss Eve. So... Grace and Kenyatta or Kenyatta, however you pronounce her name, we're going to call it Kenyatta because that's what Miss Eve has been calling her, are married. Um, they have been living together for a year, but a year prior to them getting married, Miss Eve was living with Grace. And um, apparently she went through her fourth divorce. She was having some physical problems and Grace has helped her kind of recuperate and recover from that. Um, and so now, Miss uh, Iyanla is asking Miss Eve, like, what's the deal? What's going on with this situation? And it comes across very clear that Miss Eve does not like that her daughter is in a same-sex relationship. She believes that Kenyatta basically turned Grace out and that she, apparently, that her daughter didn't really have any inclinations towards same-sex relationships until Kenyatta came along. And if you all noted the age difference, they are nine years apart, Grace and Kenyatta. So um, Miss Eve thinks that that plays a role. And one of the things that Miss Iyala is kind of getting at is like, okay, they're married. It's understandable that they would be together, living in the same household, showing affection for each other. You are in the house and you are just a guest. And and that's where things got a little confusing for me. Um, just because I think my assumption was that when you have an older parent who is um, living with you, I assume that this was going to be like a permanent thing because, you know, Miss Eve is a little bit older, but apparently it's not supposed to be permanent. She had just moved with her daughter just for a little while, I guess until she got on her feet. And now she's been living with her for two years and they only really had an issue until Kenyatta came along. And Miss Eve is like, oh, well, Kenyatta doesn't want to share Grace. And and then Kenyatta says that uh, Miss Eve kind of uh, downplays the fact that she has PTSD from her time in the service. And it's like they just really seem to have like this nasty um nasty type of relationship this nasty animosity going on between each other and uh grace seems to kind of just be in the middle but we all know miss yana gets down to the bottom of how everyone plays a part in what's going on so i have a feeling that grace is not a hundred percent um innocent in all of this but um yeah, that's where we are so far. I have like a weird feeling about Miss Eve. Something about her feels like she is in denial or um, is very like codependent. Um, and it was interesting that Iyanla brought up that Grace is a child of an alcoholic, which means that she is has always been in a position to take care of her parent. And so um, maybe it's a, a pathology, but we'll see. All right, so we're back. Um, anybody else think Miss Eve is a piece of work? <laughs> she um, is almost unwilling to recognize how she is playing a role in this problem. Unwilling, unable to recognize that she is a part of the problem, a big part of the problem. Um, not able to recognize Bo. <laughs> Something got my dog excited outside. Bo, there's just people outside. Anyways, she doesn't really seem to, to recognize that she's the problem. 
or she is a part of the problem. And it's interesting that Yala keeps placing emphasis on it's Miss Eve who moved into the married home of Kenyatta and Grace. And we find out later that Kenyatta and Grace have been married for 10 years and they just were not cohabitating. And that Grace has always been sexually fluid but never let her mom know. So I feel like Grace has contributed um, by not really being honest with her mother about who she was. And now years later, being married to a woman for 10 years and the, the issues are just surfacing now, was she being honest with her mother? Probably not. It's coming off as if this is kind of more so out of left field, maybe. Um, but maybe that's just me putting some extra on it. I don't know. But anyways, um, we find out that Miss Eve conveniently left out that she was addicted to crack in, addic in addition to being addicted to alcohol. So it's coming out to me as if Miss Eve is a little manipulative. And I'm not a fan of that. To the point where she tells Iyanla's producers that she is contemplating killing herself and claims that this is the first time that she has thought about it. And I am not one to joke about mental health or about suicidal ideations or tendencies. So I'm, I'm not definitely not going to make light of it, but something about it comes across as um, suspicious to me that in her 65 year life that she has gone through the things that she has gone through and this is the first time she's thinking about killing herself and um, it just so happens to be when Iyala takes her attention off of Miss Eve and, and goes somewhere else and um, it, I don't know it's, she just comes across as manipulative um, and the fact that she is kind of managed to get her daughter to take care of her for two years with virtually no hope of her moving out and being self-sufficient on her own. Um, I feel like I could see her pulling this card when they are having, you know, disagreements in their household about, you know, Grace and Kenyatta's, I'm sorry, Kenyatta and Miss um, Eve's relationship. Um, I don't know. And I think it's I think it's great that Iyama is pointing out to Grace that, you know, Grace and Miss Eve have a, a codependent relationship. And um yeah, we'll see where it goes next. All right, so we're back and uh Iyama is just being very honest with Miss Eve, which um apparently is something that she's like really not used to. Um, and it's interesting because I feel like she's taking what Ayala is saying pretty well. Um, but the point of this is, is that, um, Miss Ayala is telling Miss Eve that Kenyatta didn't move in with y'all. You moved in basically with Grace and Kenyatta, even though Kenyatta was not living with Grace at the time. And that since they are married, what belongs to Kenyatta also belongs to uh, Grace. So she is the guest. And the minute that she stops believing that um, Kenyatta is some type of intruder into the way that things were for them beforehand is um, going to be the beginning of her changing her mind state towards Kenyatta. And um, I really hope that Miss Eve understands that. Um, and Iyala was saying, you know, Grace has been sexually fluid her whole life, but you didn't know that because you were addicted to crack and alcohol. And it's interesting because Iyala told her you were addicted to crack, or if I'm remembering correctly, she said you were addicted to crack, but Miss Eve never told her about the crack. She said alcohol, which arguably being addicted to alcohol does sound better than being addicted to crack or being addicted to both. Um, so I kind of understand why she would omit or lie by omission uh, when it comes to her crack addiction. But it's interesting that Miss Eve didn't say anything when Iyanla said um, she was addicted to crack as well. And so because she was dependent on those things um, so many years ago, she never really had um those types of conversations with her daughter um 
and her being married to a woman kind of came off as a surprise so yeah but uh, anyways miss siyama sits down with kenyatta and um you know realizes that kenyatta's account of what's going wrong between her and miss eve comes off as if she's like a little girl who's like 10 to 12 years old and they talk about how she um excuse me was teased a lot for not being feminine um and that she really didn't have anybody to talk to about that and ayala was saying well you have to heal that up and once you heal that up you and grace can go to miss eve and you know handle it appropriately because um all miss eve is doing is just triggering all of the things that weren't healed from her childhood and i thought that was really interesting like lots of people have childhood traumas and carry those things over into adulthood because they haven't healed and I don't, I don't know why this just I, I feel like there are definitely things in your childhood that show up as you get older but the fact that somebody could be triggering those things I feel like that didn't register to me so that really stood out to me along what Iyanla said that there was something about Miss Eve that is triggering up those old feelings and those old unhealed things within Kenyatta. So um, it looks like this next part is about to be interesting and Iyala is going to call Miss Eve out for not admitting that she was addicted to crack in addition to alcohol. So we'll see. Okay, so <laughs> Iyala is schooling these three women about staying in their lanes and how when you mix up your roles within your relationships with other people you are out of order and you are out of your lane and um most of that was focused on grace and miss eve um for grace it was about her um being codependent upon her mother um for miss eve it's about offering advice when there's an issue with Kenyatta to um, Grace, when she should just take that information to Kenyatta. Um, and it's really interesting. I feel like I haven't experienced Iyama this frustrated with somebody um, in the history of the show. And while she's doing it respectfully and all that kind of stuff, she seems to be like legitimately frustrated with <laughs> Miss Eve and not being honest and uh, about being addicted to crack, not being um, fully aware of how she participates in the discord and the family and how she's not being honest about just not liking the fact that her daughter is in a same-sex relationship and Iyala just seems to be truly frustrated with her and I get that and she said something that I said earlier in this review was that it feels like she is doing she's being manipulative and that she she is a master of manipulation and um I think that might have been a mode of survival for her you know but um y'all is just calling miss eve to the carpet and you know and um it's saying that miss eve is just saying and coming up with things that just aren't true and um she said she wants to have a relationship with her daughter-in-law but that um she doesn't feel like Kenyatta wants that relationship either. When I, I truly think that they both want to have a good relationship with each other and just Miss Eve's like nastiness and old ways are just kind of getting in the way of that. So let's see what happens next. Uh, Iyala is always on some ancestor stuff. <laughs> she was basically telling Miss Eve that the woman that she saw today is not the same woman who cried to her about possibly taking her own life. And that there is this nasty, vile um, personality, or I don't even know what to call it, aspect of herself that comes across as mean and as vicious. And it does appear as if Miss Eve doesn't really know that it's there. And um, Iyala was just saying to her that, you know, there are so many people who did not survive the crab epidemic and you made it through for a reason. And that, um, yeah, 
she was talking about all the people in the motherland or people who came over in ships and just knowing, you know, about your ancestry and all the people that are watching over you and you survived that for a reason and you have, you know, purpose and you need to make sure that all the little aspects of you are kept in check. Iyala says she has a queen, a diva, a princess, and a B-I-T-C-H, which we know she um, has an acronym for that, which is being in total control of herself. And she says the difference is, is that she knows how to put those, you know, aspects of herself in check. And so, uh, it's really interesting because I feel like I'm going through something similar. It's like where when you're in a certain mood, and you allow that mood to kind of dictate your actions in that moment. And then you deal with the repercussions of those actions later. And so I totally get what she was saying there. So next, apparently all three of them are going to have a conversation. And we'll see how Miss Eve takes it when they tell her that they need to make some type of transition plan for her to be able to be on her own. We'll see. All right, y'all. So finally, we come to the end of this episode where we see... That Miss Eve seems to have come to some realizations about who she is um, and that the energy that she's giving off isn't positive. That um, she finally kind of understands that her daughter has always been sexually fluid and realizing that she has been going about things the wrong way. And at first I thought that it was... Um, there are people who are manipulative who will say the things that they need to say to protect their image or to get the results that they want. And initially, I thought that's what she was doing, but it appears that she is actually kind of realizing that she was wrong and realizing that she... Um, you know, was coming off wrong and not treating Kenyatta right and not having the right attitude about the whole situation. And uh, prior to that, we see Iyala sit down with Kenyatta and Grace. And they talk about basically having each other's back, feeling like their marriage is secure and that they need to just basically be on the same page about creating this transition plan for them to get um, Grace's mom out of their house. And, um, Lastly, we see all of them together, um, Iyala, Kenyatta, Grace, and Miss Eve, and Miss Eve apologizes. It seems heartfelt. Grace talks to her mom and tells her how much she loves her and that she doesn't want to be codependent anymore, and it's just like, it was a, a beautiful moment, and to see that the update at the end had the result of... Miss Eve having her own apartment and things getting better and they see each other regularly. And even though, um, was it Grace or Kenyatta? One of them said that they um, are actively trying to stay in their lane. So there has been some stress around that. But I mean, when you're going through such a big transition of being in discord and you're working your way towards better relationships and for things to be better between everybody, it's going to be stressful because you are changing the way things were um, to the way things need to be. And it's not going to be easy. And um, so to me, stress is a positive indicator that they are actually working towards change. And it's good to see a story end up great and to have an, an update about things going positively. So I kind of enjoyed this episode. I feel like Miss Eve is a character. And, um, yeah, that's it. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tell me what you thought about this episode by leaving your comments down below. And, um, I will see you guys sometime soon. Peace out, home slices.